I'm backing up my truck, I'm gonna hook it up, loading up my boat with all my gear. I've been working hard all week, trying to make ends meet, spending time wishing I was fishing. Oh, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing. Gather up your gear and come along. Well, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing. This is Terry Wickstrom. Join Karen Collum, Greg Collagio, and me as we take you to some of our favorite fishing spots from Colorado to Minnesota, the Arctic Circle to Central America and beyond as we revisit episodes of Mountain States Fishing and Angling Adventures Television on the best of fishing with Terry Wickstrom. Hey, today we're going to take you bass fishing with plastic worms. Any of you that watch the show a lot know I love fishing soft plastics, but I think today's anglers are really confused. They hear about creature baits like this crawfish. They get um, this bug with all the tentacles. You hear ta people talking about wacky rigging of a bright colored worm or maybe these hula grubs, something like this. And it's confusing. What do you use to fish largemouth bass and soft plastics? Well, you know, for since the 70s, 60s, there's been really one mainstay in fishing soft plastics for largemouth bass, and that's been the plastic worm. Jimmy Houston told me once, he said, it doesn't make any difference what size and color of plastic worm you use as long as it's six inches long and purple. You know, and uh, what I've got here is this is a black food source. They call it a six inch grub, but it's really a swimming tail worm. And this is a seven inch plastic worm. Uh, this one, the black is the number one seller. And these purple and shades of blue are the number two sellers. I think you could simplify your approach to fishing largemouth bass if instead of worrying about all these you just take the plastic worm learn how to rig it a couple different ways we're going to show you today and the number one way is a Texas rig where you take it and you put just put the hook through the tip bring it around push this out here so it goes up on this offset hook then you take and you put your hook back into the worm and hook it so it lays nice and straight like this hook buried in there so you can pull it right through the weeds we have a sliding slip sinker on here that slides up and down. Take this, fish it with good stout bait casting gear or spinning gear with fairly heavy line and a stout rod, and you can catch bass anywhere that swim. Tell you what, we're gonna take you out. We're gonna take you to Lake Powell and John Martin Reservoir in Colorado, catch a few bass on this, then come back and tell you about a few more techniques. Well, you know, you get back in these bays, it's nice. Doesn't this spot look like there should be a big, big fish in here? Yep. I mean, it's... The, the big rock there, the bush right alongside of it. Pretty deep water. I mean, we're in 16 foot of water here. But you just know one lives there. I know. You know, another thing people have to realize is we see these bushes here we're casting too. There's bushes just like that underwater. Yep, Don't necessarily be. pass up the spot between the bushes thinking that there won't be anything there because there's probably some bushes you can't see. And they're not going to get fished as hard as the one that sticks up. Exactly. Every right. fisherman that comes by is going to throw at that tree you can see. But if you fish some of the areas that... Oh, I had a nibble. Pick up. That have some bushes in here, you're liable to catch some fish there too. Got him? This one you got. I've got this one. Decent fish? Well, it was a large mouth. I'd expect it. Oh, yeah, it's a nice large mouth. That's the best one of the trip. Does that better help you? Oh. oh, look at that. Boy, you Silver think Gun thinks he's tougher than I am. Yeah, Good oh, news yeah, for him. Nice large. He's not, oh, he's a nice large. I tried to lose him. Yeah, quick. you did. There you go. All right. There we go. Good job. 
that's all right. Should we get him back in the water? We'll do that. Okay. People need to learn to do this. I mean, learn to cast underhand and pitch it out there. You don't have to be an expert, but at least practice a little bit so you can, because accuracy is a lot more critical than distance here. Ooh. <clears throat> Check this out, Terry. Terry, oh, looks like a good fish. Can you handle that by yourself? Whoa, ah. nice, nice fish, nice fish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing him. <laughs> you can swing him up? Um, yeah. I'll lip him, I'll lip him. Oh, oh Get him. going around. All right, no, here's come back. I'll lip him for you, we don't wanna lose him. There we go. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. Can I hold him? Well, yeah, you can take the <laughs> hook out of him too. I tell you what, you know, this is my favorite way to fish. I just... Like flipping worms? Oh, it, it, worm fishing in general. But you're in so, it's such contact with what's going on. You get a strike and a short line. The fish is right there. It's just immediate. You just get a bite? Uh, not that time. There's one going. You got one going there? Here we go, here we go. There! Bring him in, bring him in. Oh, that wasn't much of a fight, he was so close to the surface. <laughs> nice fish though. Well, we've caught some nice fish today. I tell you one of the most effective places and ways to fish a plastic worm are when you find deep brush or brush, thick brush with deep water up against it like a river channel. Exactly what we found at Cedar Bluffs Reservoir a couple of years ago when we did a show out there. And you're going to see me taking the plastic worm, pitching it out. We don't do a lot of flipping in the western lakes, but we do a lot of pitching. Pitching it out, feeding it line so it falls right down in that deep water up against the brush, and you'll see us catch some really great Kansas bass. And you know, you can't be afraid to pitch to the same spot several times either. I'm going to pitch back to this one over here. The reason I'm letting line out is when I pitch to this spot, I want that worm to sink straight down, so I want to let line out till it gets to the bottom. Then I'll just wiggle it a little bit and feel, and wiggle and feel. You don't move it very much. A lot of times the strike comes right as the, lure, the worm is dropping down. You got to watch your line as it goes. Yeah, if they're sitting in there, they'll hit you right on the drop, like you said, and then you just have to be quick with it. You won't even feel them. And pitch right in by the base of these trees and right into the brush. Now here I, I'm over a branch, and a lot of times if it's a light branch, I know I can pull it off of, I'll just leave it there, because it lets my line drop straight down, and I'll watch the line as it goes down. Either this. Right. There we go. Oh, oh got, get, he's gonna it. get in the trolling motor. Oh. Not real big, but nice healthy fish. Boy, I, I love job. this worm oh. fishing. We talked about that spot. We both wanted to cast to it. I can flip him up. He's hooked good. He's got that eagle claw hook penetrated right through him. That feather light hook did it again, huh? Oh, perfect. Look at that. Perfect hook set. Look at that right there. Beautiful. No damage. It'll be easy to get out. And rehook him. Put that down. Oh. Not as big as some of the others, but a good healthy fish and fun to catch on a plastic worm. What's nice about this too is you got good depth here. You're nine, ten feet of water, so it's not too shallow. Uh, you need help, Terry? You're oh. okay. You run the motor, I'll try to get him. Yeah. I'm trying to get out of that cover. Oh, let me land that for you, Terry. That's I think a I can get him. Monster. Oh. All right. Come this oh. way. I'm glad I switched over to heavier line. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Hold on. Uh. Oh, that's a pig. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh man! There you go. Look at that hook set. Perfect oh. with that nickel Teflon round. We switched bend. over. We just talked about switching over to this bigger rig. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a Kansas largemouth bass. Hey, you know, up till now, you've seen us throwing these big dark plastic worms, six and seven inch, Texas rigged with a sliding sinker. But there are times when you'll get into situations 
when you just need to downsize and make things a little more natural. Don't want to complicate things. Don't want you to go out and buy a dozen different types of presentations. But maybe you just need to get what we call a finesse worm. Still a plastic worm, still rigging the hook the same way through the tip, burying it in there. But now we wear a little four inch finesse worm. Not much action to it, real natural color. You see I've got just a split shot, just about a foot and a half ahead of that. Great way to present it. Could a Texas rig this too by putting a small slip sinker on it. This is the type of presentation to get into like the urban lakes like we have right here in Denver at Quincy Reservoir where maybe the fish have been pressured and we need to have just a little more subtle presentation and make it look a little bit more natural but still very, very effective. It's been more of a reaction bait, more of a reaction type of a strike. You're working it all the way back to the boat? Uh, I'll work it just around the cover for the most part. And then once you get about five to 10 feet away from the cover, just bring it back in. You're definitely relating to the brush piles. Okay. Well, I didn't want to cast over you. Why not? Because I'm too nice a guy. <laughs> there he is. I don't think it's a monster, but it's first fish of the day. Little uh, four inch worm type thing. Oh, it's a decent fish. Uh oh. Let's see, well, decent fish on light spinning gear anyway. I'm fishing with light gear, so. You know, that's a neat thing about fishing these urban lakes. They're pressured, so you end up fishing with light gear. So even an average fish gives you a heck of a fight. Come here, come here. Uh, he's oh, it's just you. a nice, solid fish. Decent, though. I'll take this, I'll take fish like this any day. Oh, he's hooked good. Uh. Quincy Reservoir bass fishing. First fish of the day, nice, solid, fat, chunky fish. Yeah, oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't think it's as big as the last one. Well, you know, they sure, I got this little Series 1 rod, and it's just perfect for this kind of stuff. It's so much fun to fight them with. That's not a bad fish. That's just another solid, oh, another solid fish. You know, the, the kind that if when I was fishing a tournament, I'd have killed for a stringer. Absolutely. <laughs> There's been many. Out there. Ah, oh, yeah, that's probably every bit as big as that last one, like it's twin. And I still got the worm in this one. Oh boy. He, he's got it down there. I'll tell you what, he, sw he got it kind of deep, so we broke the line. We're gonna leave the hook in them, but another solid, chunky, fat fish. Boy, they're nice and healthy. Look at, it's kind of like meat, short, big belly. I failed to see the humor in that. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> we could have been friends. It obviously isn't gonna work out. You see, some of these tournament guys are okay once you get them off this, once you get them to loosen up. Well, I wanna remind you that I'm kicking your butt. That's two nothing. You're absolutely right, but you know what? It's a long day. There we go, another one, by the way, while you're digging your lure out. <laughs> he told me that's the best brush pile in the bay. Well, he was stuck in another one, so I cast over his shoulder. He's been front end to me all day, but I've been overcoming it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Relentless. <laughs> this one's smaller than the other ones, though. You know, I gotta take this while I can, because trust me, if he starts catching up, I'll hear it. And that will happen. Uh -oh. Sooner or later. They really like that bait. Yeah, they do. They're getting it deep, aren't they? Yeah. I think I can get this one, though. Yeah, I got it. It's not quite as big as the others, but good, healthy males cruising. We're probably a little bit post-spawn. Yeah, and in this part of the lake. And these males are cruising, and uh, but they're, they're really nice, healthy fish for a post-spawn fish or a fish that's been guarding a bed because they're usually not eating that much and they're doing well. I'll let you go grow up. I lost track. Oh, three. <laughs> oh. There we go. You know, I'm not counting. <laughs> You're oh, smoking. No. This one wrapped me up. I might lose them, he wrapped me up. Well, they go down in those weed beds. And get that nose down and it's there he's, he's out, he's out. It feels like a better fish. Boy, are you fishing with these light line? That's a good, solid, fat fish. There you go. Boy, this one is built just like me. It's not very long, but you should see the belly on it. 
I'm trying to lose him here. He's not, he's just barely hooked. And I'm trying to be nice to him. That's a better fish. Now that's an average, that's actually pretty close to average for this lake. All right. It's probably not as big as the ones I've been catching, but at least you're on the board now. <laughs> well, I had to switch to your bait. That was the Did key. Did you take one of my baits? Uh, you don't know, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> no, you got your own bait. <laughs> it's the same, uh, same, same idea, though. Same idea, though. Yep, small, small little four-inch finesse-type worm. Okay, there you got it. Just another average fish. I'll tell you what, healthy, good fish though. Boy, he got it good too. Yeah. He wanted that bait. Good hook set. There we go. There he is. You know, it's just, what's little, that? You know, in all honesty, buck. we've been giving you a hard time, but it's, it's not eight o'clock in the morning yet. We've been fishing for about two hours. We've already got five solid bass like that. There's been lots of, uh, Lots of days I fished and wished I would have got five solid bass like that in a day, <laughs> much less than two hours. And we're in a, an urban fishery that it's a weekday, so we're not as crowded. But this weekend, this, these fish were getting just pounded. Right. And yet, a couple days later, by coming and finding the right presentation and working a little bit, we're still able to put numbers of quality fish in the boat. Hey, so far... We've wanted to show you that just plain, simple plastic worms like, like this and like the little finesse worm we had over here will catch bass anywhere in the western United States and bass in all types of situations. But now we're going to take you down on a real special trip and show you that you can catch big fish with plastic worms. Plastic worms, plain pass plastic worms, are still the number one big catching fish lure used. Now we started out, we're going to take you to Huitez, Mexico. We started out with seven inch worms like this then went all the way up to 10 inch worms, which we rigged just like we did the shorter worms. Texas rigged them up here just like this, put it in there, started out Texas rigged with a weight against it, then moved to a Carolina rig so we could fish deep water. Got a heavier weight that slides in a leader so that the worm kind of floats behind it. Use that and wait till you see the results. We've had some incredible action. I mean, it's, you can catch, if you just want to go after a fish, 50, 75 fish a day is not uncommon. Yeah, that's right. But um, we caught so many fish in so many ways, now we're actually hunting big fish. We're just working plastic worms deep, and this will change for the time of the year. Yeah. And it doesn't mean you can't hook a big fish while we're doing the other things, but we're really concentrating on big fish. It's like, uh, get these big fish from deep water, you know, like this, Road, all road coming under the water here, and that's where the most of the big fish concentrate. It's oh, not okay. It's a little one, mm -mm -mm. but it's a fish. Okay. Thought we had a big one. We we're targeting big fish, but it turned out to be just a little one down deep. But well, you know that's not a little fish. Well, that's not a little fish. But... It may be little on this lake. But there's lots of times I've spent days fishing. I'd love to have caught a few like that. Yeah, that's, that's a little fish for this kind of... Uh, uh, what we're doing right now, this is a right. little fish. Mm -hmm. Just a nice, solid, chunky, healthy bass. But we're, uh, we're after his we're mama. after the mother. That's yeah. right. But that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Nice fish, Karen. I'm back. Wow! Whoa, look at behind! It's more behind! You see the old behind? Yeah. Another big one? Another big one. This way, this way, please. All right. Not... So. <laughs> okay, open them up. Got them. Oh. All right. Okay. okay. Another fish from Lake with this. <laughs> oh, hold your fish, Karen. Here. This is your. Okay. There we go. Wow. <laughs> nice fish. Another big one. Oh, this is one heck of a spot. You got another big one? Oh yeah, he's nice. Oh, what a spot this is. Oh. Carolina worm. Wow, look. Oh. Whoa. Another nice, oh. Another nice fish. 
Where is? He? Need some help? I think I can get him. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's barely hooking. Yeah, get him. Get him. Oh, yeah, he was barely oh, hooked. Yeah. Wow. wow. Got him. Okay. Watch this, folks. I want to show you something. <laughs> Whoa. Hook was through a little piece of skin on this one. Lake Weepas. Lake Weepas. Your arms get tired from catching the fish. Hey, if you learn anything from today's show, it's that it's great to go out and buy all the latest creature baits and all the legs and all, learn to do this wacky rigging and all the different ways to rig up, but you don't have to. You can be really effective. We caught all the fish today on just three different presentations. We had a six or seven inch black and purple plastic worm. Saw the biggest fish in Mexico come on a 10 inch plastic worm, same color. And the fish at Quincy come on a little four inch finesse worm, all rigged with a hook buried in them. Nothing special, nothing fancy. But this is a great way to fish for bass. Instead of trying to decide which creature bait, how should I present it, limit your choices till you start catching fish and gain confidence. You'll catch a lot more fish and then if you want to graduate to some of these other presentations, go ahead. But if you want to catch bass, go out, learn to fish plastic worms and join us next week.